Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be explaining my code that's a simple uh, trivia game which I have thought with uh, the APIs given by Ms. Arshia and I have used the, the trivia game uh, API and I have made it in my own way of explaining it um, the game trivia with the help of movies. So what I have to say during this process was um, this simple trivia game is like a simple user um, interface game which you know allows the user it's, it's not so much it's not that complex that can you know um, which uh, the use the user would get confused with about it's very simple it's a um, uh, the game consists of like a question label an answering field uh, the set of buttons rolls very easily it also the user won't have any issues with it the user selects an answer, the correct answer is checked, and then the score is updated. If the user answers incorrectly, then another message box will appear saying incorrect message, incorrect answer, and um, if the user has any error during his, uh, his or her recording, I mean his or her answering, they will show an error. And then the a game ends when all the questions are answered. And um, in the end, they'll tell you what's your score, and you can either retake the quiz with the restart button. And this code also includes a function which fetches new questions through the API. So these questions aren't generated by me. This API helps to generate random questions that it allows to give. And once the questions amount or the number of questions we have put in is filled, the game will end, and then you're allowed to restart it. The code is very simple as given here. I have used a um, um, this message box is like uh, it displays pop-up messages and then the request is used for uh, opening trivia's database using API uh, the HTML in this SK, uh, entitles the retrieved data the random used for shuffling options uh, is for shuffling, shuffling the options um, this uh, image TK helps to TK helps to handle the images from the GUI um, the question label basically helps in create, uh, displaying the images, that means the trivia questions. And then there's the answer um, entry, which provides the user to enter that answer. So a submit button is created when the text is uh, submitted. So when you enter an option and a multiple choice, um, and you press submit answer, when clicked the answer method, it triggers when you click the answer. Um, load image here is basically is a method responsible for <coughs> for downloading resizing or displaying the Im image given it uses the request it requests the library to gather the image data opens it in the pill resizes it and creates the photo image to display in the label uh, this uh, the fetching to get question basically the method is question uh, reasonable for fetching its trivia questions from the open trivia database API. This, this uh, constructs the API URL, sends it a request and process the JSON response, extracts the question from there and then sends us the answers either to find a correct answer or the wrong answer. The updates from the GUI display the question and the correct answers as radio buttons. It retrieves the user's answer, compares it with the correct answer and displays a message box with a result. Basically, it checks your answer. Call gets question calls the get question to move on to the next question. The script then later checks the main block to see if it is true, creates an instance to the open trivia game, starts the main loop and reloops it again. The script creates so this um, game basically creates um, is used using is uh, created using a GUI using tkinter fetches the questions from the open trivia open trivia database API and allows the users to answer questions interactively simple interactive game that helps the users to have fun this is the api link that i've used it's multiple choice and it's for films and this is the 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 code and the output i'll be showing you right now how it will look so this is how the game looks movie trivia this is the home page basically the game is called miss or match where you miss if it, the miss is for the incorrect one and match is for the correct answer so here we begin quiz and here as i've said it counts your score and this is number one question so which movie includes a giant bunny is printed and then you have four options here this is my error where only once i click an answer and submit my answer the answer will come here which i've not been able to solve 
So if I put um, Alice in the Wonderland and say submit answer, it'll say sorry, the correct answer is my neighbor Totoro. And then it'll submit to the next question. Who directed the 2015 movie The Revenant? Now if I put this and I submit answer, it'll say congratulations, my answer is correct. And I'll get one score, that's one point. What was the first feature length computer animated movie? It would be Toy Story, I'd guess. It'd be correct. Like this, I'd be keep going on with random questions and I'll keep going and going. See, this will be my error. because So the error here is basically when I have entered my uh, answer, the API is sometimes unable to fetch the next question. So that's the error here. And I submit answer again. It'll go on to a next question. See, it just skips. And at the end of 2021, rate race. Um, okay, I'll just be fast forwarding this. Because I want to show you how the ending comes. See, it just keeps coming with an error here. Enter the dragon. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. Thank you, finally. Mm. Oof. It's basically, it's not a difficult game. It's a simple user-based game. <clears throat> so this is almost slipping to the last question. And the last question has been answered. This is the end of the quiz. Quiz completed, your final score is five. And then I can either say restart quiz and it will go back to the starting of the quiz. So that's it you guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for understanding my quiz. Have a good day.